Hey guys and welcome back to another food delivery video. Today is a Friday, weather is really good and it's a holiday as well. So I am working for the dinner time shift and this could be a really busy night. Since a lot of people are at home and they might order food outside or they might just go out and uh, buy it themselves. But either way, I have a good feeling about this day. Anyway guys, if you guys are new here, make sure you like the video if you're enjoying the content. And yeah, let's go to the starting point so we can take orders. Got a new order and uh, yeah, this is just less than a minute away here, 240 meters. Uh, today I would like to talk about the pros and cons of working as a delivery rider, specifically if you're working for Just Eat. Because I've been working here for uh, more than a month now and I've been loving it so far. But yeah, let's start with the first advantage. The first one is the job is really flexible so you can work whenever you want. Alright, anyway, the order is right here. Let me pick this up first. Buonasera. Sete tre nove. Questa? Okay. Okay, grazie. So uh, this delivery is four minutes away, 850 meters distance. So back to what I was saying earlier, if you're working for Just Eat or as a food courier, the flexibility is really awesome because you can work whenever you want. Well, it's not whatever you want because sometimes you give your availability and they give you something close to it, but not exactly what it is like for example you're gonna send them your availability for a Friday and you said you're available for lunch at 11:30 to 3 p.m. they're gonna give you something like I don't know like 12 p.m. to 2 30 or something depending on uh, the demand for the riders at that day so basically you're gonna give your availability they will evaluate it and then uh, then they'll give you uh, a shift based on what you wanted. So if you only want to work at night or during lunchtime, you can do that. Especially if you're a person who will do this only as a side hustle. Like for example, you have other work that you need to do in the morning or at night. You can basically select your shift based on your availability. So that's really awesome. Let's see, I think I should go here. All right, I'm gonna leave my bike over here. Ciao. Ciao. Georgia? Okay. Echo. Buona serata. That's it. All right, so that's a delivery done. And I have a new job right away. That delivery had minimal conversation with the client, which leads me to my next advantage, which is all work no talk you can you can work for most of your shift without even talking or if you're gonna talk you're just gonna like say a few words that's basically it nothing too special grazie mille si sì, ok bye bye grazie mille So that was a quick pickup thanks to Art Burger. They got really awesome stuff there. Uh, hold on, there's a lot of people here and I would like to avoid this road. You know what, let's try it. Why not? I really appreciate the uh, restaurants who meets me at their door or hands me the food outside because it actually saves time uh, in delivering the food to the customer. So that's really awesome. There's just a lot of people here today because it's a holiday. So I'm gonna have to zigzag my way through here. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, since you don't really talk to, uh, you know, your co-workers or the customers that much, so minimal conversation, it is good, especially if you're a person who doesn't really like talking, like, you know, introverts. If you're an introvert, then this job is really good, combined with the other advantage that I was talking about earlier, which is the flexibility of the work hours because you're going to be able to select the working hours that you would like to work at hold on i gotta turn here all right 
Pasaran. Ecco. Grazie. Prego. Buona serata. So as I ended my other order, I received a new one right away. So that's good, I don't have to wait that long, which leads me to the next advantage in working for a food delivery service. So in this job, you can be paid hourly or based on the number of orders that you have done. So for food companies like Deliveroo, uh, Glovo, Stewart, and uh, Uber Eats, you get paid per order. So depending on the order, you're gonna get a, a price or a, a quotation. And then the mission, should you choose to accept it, you'll be paid depending on how much the amount was before you accepted the order. There are also companies like Just Eat, which is the company that I'm working for, and Tadan, which only exists in some parts of Italy. They will give you a permanent contract. So basically you will be paid by the hour, whether you have an order or not, plus some bonuses as well. And you also get benefits of a regular employee. Buonasera. 954. Okay, okay. So order is not ready yet, so just have to wait here. Grazie. Ciao. So you can choose the companies that you'd like to work for. You can either get paid by the hour or by orders, depending on what you want. And then you can either use your bike or scooter. So that's going to be depending on your preference. Some companies also allows you to use cars. So that would be really useful if you're living in a country where it rains a lot or, you know, when it's winter time. Oh, here we are at the Leaning Tower again. Yeah, really nice. A lot of tourists here already. So as the weather gets warmer and uh, school goes on breaks, there's gonna be more people here, more tourists coming to Pisa. So there's gonna be a lot of people sightseeing around these parts, which leads me to the next advantage, which is you will not be bored. You're gonna be seeing new places every day. So you're gonna be traveling a lot. You're gonna be seeing a lot of stuff. And for me, at least for now, it doesn't get boring, which is awesome. So you're gonna be, so whenever you're working, you're going to see people doing crazy stuff or even new places that you've never been at before. And I've been living here in this city for quite some time, around eight years now, and yeah, I'm discovering a lot of new places here, especially this one. I've never been here before. Scusa, questo è il numero due? Sì, questo è il numero due. Okay, grazie. Buonasera, Emanuele? Sì. Okay. Ecco. Sì. Buona serata, grazie. Sì. Ciao. I don't like delivering in buildings like this because it's confusing where the entrance is. Anyway, I'm just uh, gonna wait for my next delivery. Let's put up the stand and we're going. No new jobs at the moment, so the night has been pretty slow. And I guess it's because it's a holiday today and uh, I thought people are gonna be staying at home, but you know, the, the weather is too good to not go out. So it's a lot of people outside, people went out, they're eating outside and that's understandable. So yeah, I'm just enjoying this view while waiting for my next job. So even if I'm waiting here and I'm not doing anything, I'm still paid by the hour, which is awesome. I don't have to worry about not receiving any orders. And that's one advantage about uh, hourly paid courier versus uh, per order courier. All right, so new order, uh, McDonald's. And yeah, this uh, order is just here.
All right, guys, I don't know what happened there, but I was not able to film my delivery. But yeah, I received a two euro tip from the McDonald's delivery, which is awesome. Uh, 4 1 6, grazie. Anche quello, ok. Grazie. So, pickup was good, uh, it was fast. The uh, thing is, I'm not sure if I'm carrying liquid here. So, I'm gonna try to cycle as carefully as possible. So, when I touched the, the bag, it was kind of cold. So, there could be uh, some drinks there. So, it is uh, now nighttime, like really dark now. It's uh, 9 38. And uh, since I'm in a tourist spot, the streets are still kind of busy. Another advantage of working as a food courier is that if you're using a bicycle, like what I'm using right now, you're actually gonna get some free exercise with it. So imagine getting paid while you're exercising and uh, doing a work as well. It's really awesome. So that is one thing to consider if you want to save time you know, working and uh, going to the gym. You're going to get a lot of cardio doing deliveries as a food courier if you're using a bicycle. Okay guys, I don't know what this is. Looks like a shortcut. So yeah, I'm just gonna take this shortcut, I guess. Buonasera, just eat on a Jew. That's it. Andrea? Si. Okay, ecco. La prima e poi questa. Grazie mille. Anyway, since I gave you guys some advantages of working as a food courier, I'm going to give you some disadvantages as well. Number one is bladder problems. So when you're delivering food, you're gonna feel the need to go number one or number two, and that's inevitable. If you have a weak bladder, you're gonna have to use the bathroom frequently and that's not gonna be a very comfortable feeling. So you gotta be ready for that. What I usually do is, before I pick up the order, I will use the bathroom of the restaurant. Some of them will let you use the bathroom, no problem. Some won't, so it's just about luck. Another thing is allergies. So if you're allergic to dust or smoke, you might be uncomfortable when delivering stuff so so just like me i am allergic to dust sometimes i i sneeze and uh, cough when there's dust around sometimes i don't i don't know why but what i do to counteract that is i wear a mask a biking mask is enough to not trigger my allergy so that's good enough but yeah that is something to consider if you're gonna be working as a food courier another thing is if you're an extrovert and uh, you have the need to like, you know, interact with people a lot, this might not be the job for you because there's like minimal interaction with people every single day that you're working. Anyway, let's uh, go to this restaurant. It's just straight ahead. Buonasera. Uh, okay, grazie. So this order is very close to the airport and the bag was kind of heavy when I lifted it so a lot of people are waiting for this for sure 
Anyway, let me talk about another disadvantage of working as a food courier, and that is sunburns. So if you're gonna be working at lunchtime, which I don't, I rarely do lunchtime shifts because I have a son that I need to pick up from school. So if you're working lunchtime, skin damage from sun exposure might happen to your skin. So you gotta be mindful of that. If you're gonna be working as a courier, you might consider wearing sunscreen to minimize sun damage from sun exposure. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, wear, wear a sunglass, wear protective stuff. But no protection is 100% safe. Anyway, it's just, you know, to minimize something. And speaking of protection, there is another disadvantage to working as a food courier. And I will tell you what it is after I deliver this thing. Pronto, just eat, sono fuori. Eh, secondo piano. Secondo piano, okay. Si può aprire la, il cancello? Permesso? Ciao. Ecco. Okay. okay, buona serata. Grazie, buon lavoro. Grazie mille. Alright guys, so this next one is from Mr. Sgabeo. So this restaurant is just up ahead. And this could be my last order as well, depending on the distance. Just about here. That's it. Oh. All right, so pickup's done and we're on our way. It's a 3.5 kilometer bike ride, so it's a fair distance. We're gonna be there in no time. Uh, it's gonna take us around 12 minutes, more or less, to get there. It is now 11.15, and uh, yeah, still a lot of people outside. Okay, um, this is most likely my last delivery, and look at this, guys. Yeah, this is kind of dangerous. I gotta be defensive here, and uh, make sure that everything passing by is seen by me. This is not lit well. I hope I'm seen by this car. All right, that's good. Why is it making me go there? What the heck? This is not safe at all. This thing is making me turn right. Right where? There is no road here. What the heck? Where the heck am I going? Wow, this is messed up. Look at where I am right now. I'm like outside Pisa for my last order. It's making me go three more kilometers. Okay guys, I am now in a dark place. Holy smokes, this is so dark. Ah, this is outside Pisa. Why is it sending me here? What in the world is this, man? Okay, I'm back in Pisa. Okay, we're gonna turn right here. All right, over here. Okay, good. Jeez, man, this is so far. Grazie.
Buona sera. Ciao. Anyway, guys, uh, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys learned something about working as a food courier. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. But with that said, guys, please leave a like if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.